What's up, gamer buddies, glue crew? How the hell are we doing today? Welcome in to the show here. Um, big news. The crane is actually 100% complete. It's done. We finished it on stream last night. Absolutely crazy, guys. Uh, we've got, uh, I'm going to pretty much go give you guys a full tour of it and break it down and tell you exactly what it's for and uh, hopefully inspire some people to build something similar or, you know, think outside of the box rather than just building a tower for sticks. Maybe you can, you know, go ham on this. This took me approximately 12 days to finish IRL days. Uh, for those of you that have been keeping track of our Mega Build series here on the tube, uh, this will be our 12th video of the crane and then we're going to start planning for the uh the birdhouse is the next build we're going to be trying to figure out some sort of birdhouse type of thing to do on the tree there i don't know if maybe we're going to like stick a post out and put a birdhouse on it i don't know we're going to figure it out but it is going to be massive just the same as this is so uh let's go down there and check it out and uh give you a good better little bit scale of this thing it's absolutely massive um it's got the four posts on each side so this layer this layer and the four posts without everything else uh was about nine thousand sticks if you guys remember the episode of willow super saiyan on the thumbnail that was the one where uh we had gotten to that point there so yeah dude, this is insane we've got entry points all over the place but more or less what this place is is a very very cool way um to send ourselves uh sticks across the across the whole yard pretty much uh so the very first thing we'll check out we'll go down here um inside of this main cabin area per se is uh we've got ramps on the insides and outsides that take us around to this catwalk that goes all the way around the outside here uh, there's four entry points, one on each side, and yeah, more or less, this is our uh, this is our little catwalk situation. So that goes all the way around, and then we've got a up and down elevator here. Uh, this is going to take us down into our stick storage area. This is where we're going to house all the pallets of sticks that we might potentially need for other builds. Uh, we've also got grinders for days down here for all the crude rope that I ended up needing. Um, turning grass blades into plant fibers. If you didn't know you could do that, that's definitely a thing. Um, but we come out here, and here's another view of this puppy. Tons of sticks around here, guys. This is the best place in the yard for sticks, if you didn't already know that, which uh, I think the world does. I got my bags full of stuff I need to take back to home from here. I've got a bunch of stuff down there that needs to come back up but yeah so yeah this is super super cool but more or less the way that we'll the way that we're going to use it is uh say we come down here to grab our pallet of sticks we're going to grab our pallet of sticks you can also grab a handful here just like this we'll go ahead and put my badge back on so i can carry the 21 and we're going to go up the elevator boing 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 and just like this all the way to the top now, it's probably not as fast and efficient as a, you know, trampoline elevator to get you to max elevation to be able to send sticks everywhere, but it's super dope. So we've got, uh, you know, we can stash these up here like this, and more or less, we've got four um, points here where we can attach the different parts of the yard. Um, I know I want to go over there and finish my subscribe subscribe for more daily grounded content damn it spongebob sorry <laughs> uh make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and turn the notification bell on guys because i am far from done with this world we're only on uh let's see here day 661 and i'm about 790 hours into the game on this playthrough uh, not including all the speed runs that I've done as well, I guess. But, uh, yeah, I've still got huge plans. I mean, we've got, we've still got a, the town is never going to be done. The town is going to be ever growing, uh, moving platforms and stuff like that across the yard. But uh, our next project is going to be on the tree, on the tree. And I'm actually curious if I want to take my foundation and carry it all the way over there 
Um, but I don't think I'm going to need to because the tree's not going to be attached to the ground. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do with the tree with the birdhouse yet. I haven't had time to even contemplate it. But the whole reasoning behind this mega build here um, is because Obsidian Entertainment is going to be doing a interview with me on Wednesday. If you don't know who Obsidian is, it's the people that created this game. Uh, they want to sit down and talk with me and have me on their casually grounded uh, Twitch stream. So make sure you check the link in the bio. It's going to be on Wednesday. And uh, it'll be 1 Pacific, 3 Central, 4 Eastern. So, yeah, definitely make sure you, you don't want to miss that. And if you do, I'm going to see if I can't get a recording of it and upload it here on my YouTube channel. So, yeah, guys, we're going to go head back to the house, the main crib, where we haven't really spent a whole lot of time. And we might pull up some images of birdhouses or something, try and get inspired. Now, this entire build had absolutely no research done. I just started building, and that's what I came up with. I had I have no knowledge of what cranes look like. You know, everybody in the comments kind of helped me out with certain different things. But, you know, as far as I know, right now, it's done. So we can make a collection point over here. Uh, we could all, all honestly just take... We could really just... Excuse me? Well, that's never happened. All right, let's, uh, I'm inside of my chandelier, inside of my building right now. Um, how do I get out of here? That's not how I get out of here. Oh, no. Oh, no, dude. All right, well, I guess we'll have to figure that out at a later date. <laughs> I just teleported through the wall. All right, um, I should probably fix that right now. I'm going to hot deposit over here and see if I can get some empty inventory space and try and fix that real quick. Holy yeah. crap. Yeah, never expected that. Oopsie. Let's see here, dude. How does that work? Um, excuse me. Mm, 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 mm. Extremely over-exaggerated mega sneeze there. Okay. All right. Do I have a trampoline still yet over here? I do. Nice. Well, I wasn't expecting that little situation. Um, let's see here. I'm pretty sure I screwed something else up while I was up there. Let's see if I can figure it out. Um, that's a big old negative, Ghost Rider. Yep, I can kind of see it, but I can't make it up there. Oh, can't make it up there. Um, okay. Yeah, it's hidden. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. All right, let's go. Let's go. Uh, let's see here. All right, so I got lots of rocks. Um, I might just do some trips back and forth here to to uh, get all this material over to my main my main little sorting hub. And to be completely honest, I feel like maybe I should just have everything in the pyramid as far as all my material goes and get rid of this whole building and just use this as like a little house. Uh, set it up as a house type thing. We're going to have a lot of, lots of little houses over over this all over this place as time goes on here, but uh yeah. I think I think that we should probably do something along those lines. So let's see here. There's some crude rope. Uh, by the way, guys, if you're still watching this video, we're 8 minutes 58 seconds in, and our word of the day is going to be burr. Burr. Good luck trying to fit that one into the comments, man. Make sure you try and hide that word down there. Leave me some comments today. Uh, my video yesterday got like 10 comments, and I was five of them. So I don't know what happened, man. I think everybody was just tired of the crane build. They're ready for us to move on to something different, which is why I'm glad that it's now done. And uh, obviously, you know, I feel like my my attitude has changed a little bit, obviously, since because I'm trying to take better care of myself. I haven't had soda in nine days, dude. And it's really starting to get to me. But today's a good day. I woke up on the wrong side of the bed. But uh, after I woke up on the wrong side of the bed, I had a, a cup of coffee and, and now I'm a lot better now. Let's go take a look at the tree and see what the heck we can come up with, man. I'm, 
you know, this this project's exciting to me. You know, a giant birdhouse is going to be cool, but uh, I would like to make it like a bird condo, you know what I mean? Because it's going to be huge, but ultimately the whole reasoning behind the house is, the birdhouse is because I am going to be creating a massive, um, a massive sap collector is pretty much the ultimate goal. Uh, so I think maybe I want to get up above the mushrooms up there. I'm not too sure. And I don't know if I wanted to like, you know what, here, let's do this. This is going to be weird, but you guys, you loyal, trusty people are going to, are going to hang out with us here and, and try and figure out how exactly we're going to be doing this. But I, we're going to do some quick doodles to try and figure out, get a good idea of what we want this to look like. And by no means am I an artist, but, uh, all right, let's see here. Let's get some rough, some rough sketches here. So let's say this is the tree. Uh huh. Like that. Yeah. Something like that. Okay. So that's the tree. And ultimately we want a birdhouse, right? Yeah. There we go. Birdhouse with the hole in the front, but is that what we want? Let's see here. Let's see what kind of fancy, I'm just gonna type in fancy birdhouse. Now, like I said, I didn't, oh my God, Jesus Christ. They, they look like freaking actual houses. Um, let's see here. Now, I thought about doing it on a post like almost like this on an actual post type of thing, but, or something like this. Holy crap, dude, look at that. That's sick. It's too bad we can't color the bricks. Jeez, you want $331.99 for that thing? God, die. Holy. I mean, I'd sell it for that much if I made that thing. That was pretty cool. Um, All right, so all these really don't look like birdhouses. They more look like you know, houses that look like birdhouses. Like that is a birdhouse, I guess. Oh, dude. Oh my God. Oh my God. How the heck would I accomplish that? How would I accomplish that? And then see, and then it defeats the purpose because yes, it's cool because it's a birdhouse, but <laughs> there's no way for me to get sap if I hang it from a tree limb, right? Because I could totally go up there and potentially find a way to get, like, wooden stem posts or something and dangle them down and make it look like it's hanging. Oh, my God, that would be so sick. How freaking sick would that be? Let's oh, my God. Life. That would be insane. Pretty much all I'd have to do is get a zip line hook up there, and then we could do something like that, I think, but... Uh, I don't know if that's going to be possible. I should pause my game. Okay. But that is a cool idea. I really like that. I really, really like that idea. But it's not super practical because... Uh, wow, look at that. That's crazy. Because we need it for sap, man. We need it for sap. And I would really like to make a ton of sap collectors. So I don't know... If maybe, let's see if there's a wrap around tree birdhouse. Oh my God. What in the world? What in the world? That's crazy. I mean, that doesn't even look like a birdhouse, but that's crazy. That is crazy. Um... This is going to be a tough one to come up with concept-wise, folks. Concept-wise, it's going to be a tough one. I honestly really think we should start with the roof. I think, so pretend that this is the tree, right? So, like, what if, hold on, let me go back to Illustrator here. So, what if we do something along the lines of a huge almost make it like a lampshade type of thing, right? And then, hold on, let's get rid of this because you wouldn't be able to see all this here. 
Okay. All right, so we come around like that. So that's the roof, okay? We got our clover roofs probably because this is gonna be insanely huge. Pretty much an umbrella type of roof that wraps all the way around, okay? And then we're gonna maybe come down and then build like huge holes rather than windows and doors, huge holes all the way around it. Oh my God, dude, this is gonna be so huge. But that's totally cool, because that's what we need it for. Uh, yeah, ultimately we just need like a platform that goes around the tree, and then we've gotta encase it in a birdhouse. So, like the holes wise, let's see if we can actually make like a circle hole out of the building blocks that we have. So, mushroom arches, can we put these upside down and right side up? Um, oh man, I don't think we can put these upside down. You stay away. You're going to be an issue. I'm going to have to lock them inside, dude. Um, God, Ash would be sick for this build. Oh my god, and we can actually kind of somewhat do it. Alright, well, they might end up being like triangular holes, maybe? Alright, hold on. Let's go. Let's get a proof of concept here for a second. Let's go over on top of this thing. Because I want to see... Okay, so look at, look at our stick transport here. Like, we could literally come right, right to this post, even, if I got that dandelion out of the way. The only bad thing about some of these zip lines sometimes is the dandelions get in the way. All right, so I'm just gonna put that there for a second. Why is it not letting me unsupport? What do you mean unsupported? Oh my lord, if we were to do ash here. I mean, we've got a square window. But see, that's not, I don't think that's big enough for a doorway. All right, so let's do this. What do you, what is it, why is, Am I going to have to go somewhere else to get, like, a layout of this? Alright, so let's say it's... So let's say this is one of the bird holes, right? So we've got our whole bird hole here. And... Really? Come on. Let me alone. Cannot build in combat. Stop messing with my motions. Okay... All right, like that. Oh Lord, have mercy. And then we do like a 45 degree turn at some point. So yeah, we just wrap this gigantic thing and this will be our birdhouse holes, uh, just like this. And then we probably do, yeah, clover roofs is gonna ha <laughs> I just turned 16 yesterday, man. Come on. Get off my back. Huh. It's too bad we can't do mushroom arches upside down, bro. Can we not do mushroom arches upside down? We sure can't, bro. Why can't we do that? That would be a circle. Let me flip it, dude. What an unlucky deal. All right, so I guess we're just gonna have to do angled, like angled arches or something. I don't know if it'll look better with with ash around the outside and mushroom like window seals or whatever. I don't know. I don't know, but this. Oh, I'm dead. Ah! I'm just a builder, man. I'm not a fighter. I'm a builder. Okay, so we copy and paste this formation all the way around the entire tree. We go up there first. The first thing we gotta build is our foundation. We gotta get the right height, which I really think is gonna be above this. Now, we're gonna have to do some testing and make sure we can actually put sap collectors around the tree up there. I hope so. Um, but the first thing we're gonna have to do is make an access point, like a temporary access point for now, and hope that, you know, 
the build will actually let us attach to the tree. I don't know. I don't know what the rules are as far as attaching a building to the to the tree without having like a bottom attachment of some sort. All right, we're gonna take this down. Gonna get us a couple sticks. That way we can make some just some stairs. All right, let's get all that and get all this grass. Let's get to work, folks. If you made it to this far in the video and you made it through all the doodling and concept creation of this, uh, go ahead and uh, put your second word in the comments as creativity. That's a big word. All right, where, <laughs> where, where do I want to? Where do I want to do this, dude? I'm feeling much better today than I have uh, for a couple days now. I think. I think my caffeine problem is is slowly starting to die down, which is good. Um, all right, let's go ahead. We got to make it up above that, so we will get some grass stairs, I guess, and just start making our way up there. Oh yeah, I forgot we have to have supports, grass floors underneath. I think we can get away with doing just a just a a short floor thing like this yeah we can god dude infected wolf spiders have the gnarliest noises right just the gnarliest noise <laughs> There we go. Is there an easy way to get up there? Brother, you better leave me alone. Better leave me alone. Go away. Please leave me alone. Yep, you step back. I don't want to lose any distance here because... Yeah, we're definitely going to be blocking the spiders in here for sure, probably. Lock them up. Okay, so, yeah, because they're going to be hella annoying. Oh, and the Skeeters, too. And the Skeeters. Maybe, ow, ow! Come here. You. You! Oh, oh, we just de-aggro like that, do we? All right, that's fine, whatever. Oh! I almost got him. Come on, dude. This is, this is a, this is getting old! Oh, I really don't want to throw my axe at him. Okay, there we go. Good lord, man. I'm like, I'm not even close to the freaking, I'm not even close to the dang water, bro. Bro, come on, I'm so trendy. I'm such a hip, a hip hop granny and a hip hop and they don't stop drop. <laughs> I can't remember what they say on this doubtfire, but that's what I was going for there. We watched Dodgeball last night in the Discord as a community. If you ever want to join us for movie nights, it's Friday nights after the stream. It's a little late, doesn't start till 11. Uh, central, but I guess if you're Pacific time, it's only 8 o'clock, so that's not bad. But if you ever want to join us for movie night, man, that's where we at. Alright, there's not a whole lot of grass around here. Um, I probably should make grass pallets. I think, I think I, oh no, I did have the stuff to make pallets, but I don't anymore. Alright, let's go, let's go back to the crib, dude. Let's go back to the crib. We'll grab some stuff for some stick pallets, grass pallets. Um, we're going to need them, uh, whether we send it from afar or just grab it from locally over here. We're going to we're gonna need them regardless. So let me go ahead and take this badge off so we can get the zoomies. And let's go sleep. And we might actually try and make an acorn bed and bring with us over here as well. That way we can get our, our sleep buff and everything. We need that food buff from the sleepy sleep. How long this video is? 24 minutes? 24 minutes? 
this is gonna be this is gonna be a good hey hey get out of my house okay let's sleep real quick let's sleep real quick let's get stuff to make pallets and a bed and the best way to get these materials out watch this hey there we go destroy now i got everything i need plus some sticks that i don't need all right so i got enough stuff there for a singular bed here hold that grumpy grumpy gills dang bro you put this web in my house i gotta get a maid all these cobwebs Okay, so I'm just going to grab some extra of these things. So sprigs, crow feather, and I don't need crow feather, dude. Sprigs, little, little, uh, let's see, little dry grass we need, little pebbles, little sap. We don't have no sap. That's fine. Here, pebbles, little pebbles. Um, what else do we need for, okay, yeah, sprigs, clovers. Okay. All right, let's roll. I think we got the stuff we need for a steak pallet. Oh, look, he's patrolling the road, dude. I love the fa I love it when the bugs let's like see what we can find. walk my path. It's so cool. All right, man. I hope you guys are ready for this next project, dude. Um, I don't know if I'm going to totally W key through this project this time like I did with that one. I might bounce around a little bit more now. Uh, but I really needed to just focus on getting that done because I really wanted them to, uh, although, although moves the Eric, the, uh, one of the main interviewer guy dudes for the casually grounded stream hey, has already hey, seen the crane. Cause he follows me on Twitch and he's in my stream. Lord only really knows how many times, but at least, you know, I was like, well, you at least got to act surprised, man. Come on. And he said, he's a good liar. So, <laughs> We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Either way, it's going to be cool. It's going to be cool, man. So excited. Wednesday, dude. Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. I'm going to be telling you guys about that all week up until the day. But see, last time it was supposed to be on the first. But guess what? Xbox Live was down. So that was a no bueno. All right, so we've got that. Let's go ahead and get a couple grass pallets as well. Right here like this and another one here. Okay, so that's gonna let us get some grass going. Let's go ahead and get this started here. Chop down a couple blades maybe on my way this way and that way because we're almost connected to the town over here. Getting pretty close. Getting pretty dang close. Got to start making our pathways and walkways here. It's going to be so weird because, you know, um, oh, also, guys, if you're still watching and you do mega builds too, like, let's do Let's set up a base tour. I got to make like a, I got to make a base tour recruiting uh, video or something because we haven't done a base tour in like, in like what feels like two weeks now. So hit me up. Definitely. I've got some people hitting me up for, for total redos of their, of their already you know, toward base, but I want to, I want to make sure everybody gets a, gets a shot and gets a chance to get on the tube, man, get a little bit of recognition, especially if you're some sort of content creator or something, you want me to show you your build and link your stuff in the description and things. I've proven that that is quite beneficial for, for the few people that we have had on the show. But, uh, if you want to do base tours, I know I talk a lot of smack about, about baseball builds and Oak tree builds, but here we are, nonetheless. Here we are, doing the thing that I don't like to do. But, but honestly, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna step it up a little bit. You know, it's not gonna be your basic. It's not gonna be your basic tree build. All right, this is gonna be next level crazy stuff. And if you think it's big enough, make it bigger. Right? That's my that's that's my concept. If you think it's big enough make it three times the size all right there we go that should be far enough actually it's probably not far enough for us to grab now that i see it 
But sadly, guys, we're going to have to cut this puppy short. Not really short, but uh, make sure if you want to see what the heck we're going to be doing um, tonight on stream is, well, it's technically supposed to be Switch It Up Saturdays. But I'm just so in love with Grounded right now that I don't know if I want to switch it up. So we might just play Grounded, especially since we're starting a new project. Uh, that's always exciting. Let's see if we can't make it to the top of the tree here in the next couple minutes with what we've got here. New projects are always fun. And we get to actually utilize my stick build probably. Um, once we get up here and start, you know, seeing exactly what we've got going on. It looks like we are going to be able to at least make it up to the mushy, and I still need to get the, I still need to get the freaking, the watch off the top of that light, dude. Maybe we can finally do that. Oh, I seen it for a second. All right, let me grab this other pallet. Actually, rather than grab the pallet, I think I'll just grab all the grass. Oh, let me go ahead and get rid of this too. Skadoosh. I don't know why I charged it up. It doesn't do any more damage to the plant fibers if you charge it, so don't waste your time like I just did. I'm sure we're going to need crude rope, though. Uh, and we are going to have to start farming uh, concrete, which is something I don't normally do, but I think I've got a decent chunk at the house. I might have to go through and destroy all of the stupid, useless spike traps that I have wrapped around my pyramid, but I think I've got some ash that we can that we can utilize at least to get us started because it's going to be an insane amount of ash and i've told myself many times that i'm not going to build with ash because it's not a infinitely farmable resource and it's just going to take too long but we're going to give it a shot because i think it'll look really cool i think it'll look really cool but uh make sure you guys check us out on twitch if you ever want to see the in between episodes and uh definitely subscribe as we just passed 5,000 subscribers yesterday we had a little bit of stream celebration for that um but yeah man things are things are things are awesome right now for content across the board across the board okay here we go so oops all right we are officially up the tree so now the project begins. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe with the words, and we'll see you tomorrow on the next one. Peace.